Calling a truce to a years long war, Kansas Governor Sam Brownback agreeing to stop giving financial incentives to lure businesses across the state line. And now he's asking Missouri lawmakers to do the same thing. Now, 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfeld explains how a truce could ultimately help build business, perhaps, and improve jobs in the metro area. When AMC moved its headquarters from downtown Kansas City to Leewood, the company was lured by more than just the suburban setting. $40 million worth of tax incentives, it became the latest company to jump state line. For years, Kansas and Missouri have been at war, battling over business by offering major tax breaks. It's just really kind of a way that the states can say, well, we, as a state, we earned these jobs or we lost these jobs. When it comes to tax incentives, things can get a little tricky. Businesses that have been in Missouri have jumped across the border when offered different tax incentives. Businesses in Kansas have also jumped state lines when offered similar incentives. But experts say this battle ultimately brings little or no boost in new jobs to the area. And if anything, you're hurting the public sector's ability to provide services like schools and police and fire to those businesses that are going to demand those services going forward because you're incentivizing those businesses to move, i.e. lower taxes. Two years ago, Missouri passed anti-poaching legislation. Kansas Governor Sam Brownback didn't agree. Now he's calling for a truce, asking that tax incentives for nine border Kansas and Missouri counties be off the table so both states and the Kansas City metro can thrive. Kansas City has been doing the heavy lifting in terms of employment growth in Missouri and in Kansas. And anything it can do to, you know, instead of saying how can we, you know, get more jobs on our side of the state line, let's just strengthen and build the pie that is the Kansas City metro area and both states will benefit from that. Reporting in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News. Ariel, thanks. Under Brownback's proposal, states could still offer tax incentives to companies new to the area. Missouri would also have to change the law here. Governor Jay Nixon has already said he would review the plan, and Kansas City Mayor Sly James has called the move a step in the right direction.